Hey guys, I'm Sarik and welcome to Your Knowledge Buddy. So today I'm back with another new video where I'm going to tell you how you can write your own CV without any help from anyone, whether from any agents or your friends or family, anyone. This tool is going to blow your mind. So yes, I'm talking about ChatGPT. So I already made an introduction video on ChatGPT. What is ChatGPT? A demo, how you can use it and also how you can make money out of it. So if you want to know that, you can watch my previous video. But this video is about how you can create your CV using ChatGPT. Whether you're a fresher or whether you're experienced, whether you've got gap on your CV or you are a nurse, doctor, IT, non-IT, whichever field you are. So you can use ChatGPT to make a professional CV. So I'm going to tell you everything with a demo. So make sure you keep watching the video till the end. So let's begin. So first of all, what you need to do is just go to Google and type ChatGPT and you will be taken to chat.openai.com forward slash chat. You will be prompted to either enter with your details or register. So I have already registered and the first page that you see here is they'll give you some examples of how you can use ChatGPT and they have mentioned about capabilities and limitations. So here, what you have to do, this is the command prompt. So the way you go to Google and type anything, you need to come to ChatGPT here and type your query. It can be any query. Remember, the more detailed your query is, the better response you will get from ChatGPT. So what I have done, I've written a small query here. So I'm going to start with a fresher CV. But again, just saying, give me a fresher CV is not good enough. So you need to give more information. Say you have studied commerce from India. So you can say commerce from India, Pakistan or Nigeria, whatever. You can give more details. And then I've also written with some internship experience. So if you have done internship, write it down. If not, just leave it. And then I've also said, add some professional summary with few skills set at the top. So you can modify your query the way you want. But remember, the more detail you give, the better response you will get from ChatGPT. So I'm just going to copy this here. And what you can also do is compare this on Google. So I've already copy pasted this query on Google. So here on the Google, you see, I have to go to so many places to read the details. However, on ChatGPT, I'll just come and copy paste this query and you will have to wait for a fraction of a second for the result to be popped out. Now here you can see it's starting now with the professional summary because I said at the top, give me the professional summary. So here you can see this is the commerce related summary at the top. And then it's suggesting you to add your education followed by the internship because I did say give me some internship as well. So here you can see the format they are suggesting and then they are following with the skills. So whatever skill set a commerce graduate need to have, it's mentioned here. And if you have done any certification, you can add your certification here. And if you know any languages, you can mention here. If you got any interest as well, you can copy paste here as well. So this is that simple. And if you need more information, what you need to do is you can say, Say the skills are not enough. So I'm going to say, give me more details on skill. So you can ask for more details and based on your query, it will generate more response. And here is more uh, detail here. And I think this is really good now because I can see strong knowledge of accounting and financial principles. So if you're a commerce student, so definitely you need to know that experience with financial analysis and reporting. So this is pretty good. Now I'm getting really good details of the experience or the skills which I need to add to my CV. So everything that you see here, you can copy paste on a Word document or a notepad. So what I'm going to suggest, I have already a template. So you can go to my website, your knowledge buddy forward slash download. I have already some templates here, which you can use for free. For this demo, I have opened a template here. So you start with your name. You can give your LinkedIn email contact information and then you start with your summary. So if I go back to chat GPT, so either you start with your skills here or at the top, I think this is pretty good motivated and detail oriented commerce graduate with internship experience in accounting and finance, strong analytical skills and ability to work in a team, da, da, da. So here, what I'm going to do is quickly just go and copy paste this in the template that I already have. And if you need more information on the summary as well, you can just write here details on the summary and you can find more details, which you can add in your CV. Education here, uh, so you can just go and copy paste this at uh, in your CV template. So I'm going to suggest don't add your education at the top. I always suggest people to put your education at the bottom. And here is the space. So just go and copy paste here so that you can see the details here. Now, if I go back here, then internship experience. Now, because you guys are fresher and if you don't have any experience, it's better. This section that I have here for work history, just 
uh, edit this to write here internship experience and write where are you working what for your position when did you work what was the goal and roles and responsibilities so just come and copy paste here from chat gpt and this section i'm going to talk about little bit now skills skills are very important because you have all your keywords in your skills and the reason why i asked for detail because i don't see too many skills here and i needed more details so this section is pretty good so here you need to pull out the details from the skills and then see where does it go for example your skills can be business related it can be technical skills so whatever you want to categorize under it you can write a summary and then a detail about it so technical skills so if you knew, know powerpoint you can write here if you know word document you know how to use microsoft products you can add technical skills if you know any more tools make sure you go and stick it around so this is how you should be creating your cv just simple copy paste and any information you need you can say more details on this and then you get a bunch of more information which you can use so this is about the fresher now very quick demo for people with some experience so i'm i have written here cv for 3 years experience data analyst analyst so i'm going to just copy paste my query here <coughs> now based on your query you can see chatgpt started generating the details here again i really like the professional summary at the top so i highly encourage everyone to start with the summary because your summary should be like a punch line with all the keywords it should give a professional total experience like 3 years of experience in data analysis and it already says this are the programming languages you know and then education needs to go at the bottom like i said and then followed by your work experience so here you see the work experience mentioned here so this is the section which i say work experience so just go and copy paste the details from here it is that easy so you don't need to go to 10 places uh, to write your cv just go and pull out all this information so this is how you guys should be using a chat gpt to write your cv without any help from anybody and if you guys are using chat gpt for something else do let me know in the comment section below and i hope this demo was useful if you guys want me to make another demo video or a tutorial video about chat gpt how to use it for some other purpose do let me know because currently i'm experimenting a lot on chat gpt i'm trying different things i'm trying to see if it's really works or not so just before the demo i was having issues logging to chat gpt because there was too much of traffic so i was asked to wait for some time so let's experiment more on chat gpt and see if you can use this tool to make your life simpler and better and more efficient as well so i'm signing off thanks for watching my video till the end and i'll see you guys soon with my next video till then keep learning